Our mission here at Sasha Farm is to rescue abused, neglected, and unwanted farmed animals and give them the quality of life that they deserve. Um, we give them that opportunity to be themselves and we also educate the public and others on how they are just like your companion animals. We have at the moment about 200 rescued animals and they range from cattle to equine, which include mules, donkeys, and also horses. And we also have an emu, we have peacocks, we have chickens, we have guinea hens, we have goats, we have sheep, we have pot -belly pigs, we have ponies, and we have big pigs. Olivia, Ollie, she was on an Amish meat farm and her leg had been, they thought, broken for over a month and they ended up bringing her here. And when she came here, it wasn't broken. It was definitely really badly infected, not taken care of, but Overall, her health was wonderful. So we took her to state. State decided to amputate the leg to give her the best quality of life. And now she's just living her life freely and happy as our tripod. So Lazarus was the sheep that was under a year or around a year old who was starving to death, literally emaciated at the auction house. And luckily Brees and Chase who work for us at Action for Animals um, as well. They were able to rescue him from the slaughterhouse. Um, they brought him here and he was withering away, not doing well, and luckily MSU was able to step in and take care of him. They got him healthy enough to come back here and now he's thriving and it's been almost a year and he's living happily as you could see. Daisy Bell was actually born a twin and Twins, when they're female, when they're born, normally they don't reproduce. So on a, on a dairy farm, she wasn't worth anything. She wasn't profitable. So they basically threw her in a corner to die. And luckily, another time, another neighbor heard of her plight and brought her home. Same thing, they couldn't take care of her. She's big, she's a cow. She ended up having pneumonia and she has cataracts. So she's one of our special needs cows. That's why she's with the goats and sheep, um, because the other cows probably would bully her. And Bima, he and his brother were going to be working oxes, so they were supposed to pull plows and do whatever else on um, an urban farm, an urban garden. Unfortunately, well, not, fortunately for us, I should say, it just didn't work out, and they both came here, and unfortunately his brother, Dharma, passed away shortly after he got here, um, unexpectedly. And then Bima had infections in his horns, and luckily MSU again, they stepped in and they were able to take the horns off from um, causing him any harm. And now he is 12 years old and probably the happiest cow in the whole wide world, like a big fluffy hound dog. My heart is just so full knowing that I have all of those other beings that I get to love and see grow and happy. Those animals mean everything to us, and that's why we're here.